in the previous class we have seen about the plant hormone auxin so today we can start with the plant hormone cytokinin cytokinins it enhances the process of cytokinesis so cytokinesis here cytos means cytoplasm which was found in cell and kinesis means division so this cytokinin helps in cell division the two scientists named skoog and miller they observed that when auxin was accompanied with some other substances the plant showed proliferation or cell division proliferation is also called as cell division so the other substances the auxin has to accompanied with some other substances the other substances like extracts of vascular tissues coconut milk or yeast extracts or dna extracts when auxin is accompanying with these substances it shows proliferation or cell division the scientists observed this in the internodal region of the stem of tobacco plants then skoog and miller discovered and isolated the cytokinins from the herring fish spam dna and they called that cytokinin as the kinetin first they discovered it from the herring fish spam the herring fish spam we will call this fishes kendaimin in tamil kendaimin so from that fish only they discovered the first cytokinin and they named it as the kinetin after that only the name was changed to cytokinin because this kinetin is doing the function of cell division hence the name was changed to cytokinin and then from the plant ziamis from the plant ziamis ziamis which is commonly known as corn plant from this corn plant they isolated the cytokinin which is known as the zeatin so zeatin was the cytokinin which was isolated from the plant ziamis so now we can see the physiological effects of this cytokinin so the first one we all know that it promotes cell division already we saw cytokinins helps in cell division then it promotes cell enlargement and differentiation so cell enlargement and cell differentiation so for differentiation means it will helps in helps the cell in doing certain functions then it promotes the formation of adventitious root adventitious roots means the root which will grow from the branches of the tree it will not grow from the radical of the tree it will grow from the branches of the tree and the example is banyan tree so it promote the formation of adventitious roots then it helps in leaf formation and also the enlargement of leaf then it breaks c dormancy by increasing the metabolic activity so it is increasing the metabolic activity of the plants and because of this c dormancy is getting break then promotes the flowering in some plants some plants are flowering because of the presence of this cytokinin then it delays senescence senescence means aging in plants so it is delaying that aging in plants and this effect is said to be richmond lang effect so what is this richmond lang effect we can see this so richmond lang effect here the scientist took two leaves and they dipped one leaf in the cytokinin solution and they observed that the leaf remains green for few days and the leaf another one leaf they kept simply and they noticed that the leaf became yellow and from this experiment they have found that the leaf which was dipped in cytokinin that remains green because of the help of cytokinin so the cytokinin plays a main role in senescence and hence they said this effect as the richman lang effect now we can see about the plant hormones gibberellin so gibberellin is also known as gibberellic acid and it is denoted as ga gibberellin is the abundantly found plant hormone the farmers in japan they observed that some rice seedlings grew exceptionally tall that is this rice grew up to 12 to 15 feet tall 
The normal size of the rice plant is 3 to 4 feet, but these plants grow so tall, that is 12 to 15 feet. Because of this, the rice plant can't able to stand straight, so these plants fell down. And the farmers called these plants as the Bacchanae disease, that the disease which affects these plants as the Bacchanae disease, which is in Japan word. And the meaning of this word is foolish seedlings. Then, in 1926, the scientist called Kurosawa, he studied this disease. And he said that these seedlings were infected by a fungus called Gibberella fujikurai. So, Gibberella fujikurai is the fungus which is infecting these seedlings. And also, there is an active chemical which is involved in the different behavior of these plants. So, what is the different behavior of this plant? Growing too long, that is growing longer than the normal size. And there was a chemical which is involved here. And that chemical is known as the gibberlin. And that was later called as gibberlic acid. Now we can see the physiological effect of gibberlic acid. So the main function of the gibberlic acid is stem elongation. It promotes stem elongation. As we know already, the rice seedling grew so taller due to the presence of the gibberlic acid. So, this promotes stem elongation. Then, the next function is, it promotes the production of male flowers in monoecious plants. Monoecious plants means, both the male and female reproductive organ will be present in different plants. The example is corn, oak, pine. These are the examples of monoecious plants. So, this gibberlic acid helps in the production of male flowers in these types of plants plants and it delays senesis. Senesis already we saw. Senesis means aging in plant. So, this gibberlic acid plays a role in delaying of aging in plants. Then this gibberlic acid increases seed maturity. Seed maturity is getting increased by the gibberlic acid. Then it helps in the formation of fruits in parthenocarpic plants. Parthenocarpic also already we saw. And another one important function that is it plays bolting in rosette plants. So, rosette plant means the plants where the internodes will be present so closer. So, the examples of the rosette plant is beetroot, cabbage. In these plants we can see the leaves will be present so closer. So, for your understanding I made a picture you can see in that. Here the in the first picture that is in the picture of cabbage disease in this picture you can see the internodes are very closer and then when this cabbage is getting treated with this gibberlic acid GA is gibberlic acid when it is getting treated with gibberlic acid the internodes is get much elongated the internodal elongation that is bolting bolting is the important function of this gibberlic acid bolting in rosette plant so here internodal elongation takes place when the internode is getting elongated the cabbage size will be become very big because the distance between the internodes is getting much elongation elongated hence the plant uh, that cabbage size will be also very big so these are all the physiological effect of this gibberlic acid in the next video, we can see about the remaining two phytohormones that is the abscisic acid and the ethylene. Okay, for more videos, just subscribe our channel.